uh, Vector and preparing my next uh, print for uh, 3D printing for my videos, buddy. So uh, if you remember, I did the Parthenon not long ago, and I can put that aside. But I want to do a uh, Vector. I want to do Petra and the Pizza Tower, but I need to calculate a few things. I forgot my calculator in my office. Oh, really? Oh, that would like that, uh, Victor. Uh, I need to know the area of my printer here. So, what is the area of a square that is uh, 22 centimeters on the side? The answer is 484 square centimeters. Oh, that's perfect, uh, Victor. Thanks a lot. Now, since you're here, I need also to put this on the shelf upstairs. I need to know the area of this uh, of this base um, what's the uh, oh, I want to do a fist bump there you go buddy uh, what's the area of a circle that has a diameter of uh, five centimeters the answer is 19.7 square centimeters uh, 19.7 okay well that's good to know uh, vector uh, well since we're doing this here do you know a lot about the uh, triangles also yes Well, that will be uh, useful uh, later on. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I did some calculations with Vector like you saw because the feature Friday of May 22nd is geometry. So now our Vector knows about geometry. So, but this was scripted because in theory, as you know, we have to say, I have a question or question. So if I look at the announcement by DDL, they give some examples over here and um, I want to show here some variations and you will see that's interesting. Hey Vector, question. What is the area of a rectangle with width 4 and length 6? And that is correct. Now watch that. Hey Vector? Question. What is the area of a rectangle with width 4 centimeters and length 6 centimeters? See, if you add a unit like centimeters or inches, he doesn't get the question. So when I was here uh, playing with the with my print area and I gave vector centimeters, it was scripted. So I told vector to say square centimeters, but in real life he doesn't do it. Uh, hey vector, I have a question. How do you calculate the diameter of a circle? And sometimes when you move him, like I just did, he gets out of his research uh, mind. So, hey, Vector, question. How do you calculate the diameter of a circle? Diameter is equal to two times radius in a circle. There you go. Hey, hey Vector. How do you calculate the area of a circle? I forgot to say question. Hey Vector. Hey Vector. Question. How do you calculate the area of a circle? Area is equal to pi times radius to the power of 2. In a circle. No, that is correct. Now watch that. Hey, Vector. What is pi? I forgot to say question again. Hey, Vector. Question. What is pi? Definition of pi. The ratio of the circumference to the diameter of the circle. That's correct. A vector? Question? What is the value of pi? The number is a math 
mathematical constant. Yeah, he doesn't seem to uh, be able to give us the value of pi. That's unfortunate. And apparently, Vector knows a lot about triangles. So let's see. Hey, Vector. Hey, Vector. Question. How do you calculate the area of a right triangle? Area is equal to width times height divided by 2 in a right triangle. That's correct. Now, a more difficult question. Hey, Vector. Question. What is the Pythagorean theorem? In mathematics, the Pythagorean theorem, also known as Pythagoras theorem, is a fundamental relation in Euclidean geometry among the three sides of the right triangle. Wow. Well, that's impressive, Vector. You're a genius. So this is probably the most famous theorem in geometry. Uh, which says that the square, when you have a right triangle, the square of this length times the square of this length equals the square of this length, which is called the hypotenuse. I'm not sure how to pronounce that in English. Hippo, hypotenuse. Anyway, <laughs> I could ask a Vector. I don't, I don't think he knows the answer. We saw that Vector can handle squares, rectangles, uh, circles, triangles. But he can also do volumes. Watch that. Hey, Vector. At uh, the beginning, we were looking at my uh, 3D uh, printer. So I want you to scan this object. Perfect. And tell me how much plastic I will need. You will need 60 grams of plastic filament. 60 grams of uh, PLA filament. Thank you very much, Vector. That's very useful for my 3D printing projects. Uh, so, guys, this is Geometry, the new Feature Friday, number 5 of May 22nd. Um, if you have any questions, yes, Vector, it's me. Thank you very much. I see your face recognition works very well. So, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll be happy to get back to you. Have a great day. Goodbye, guys.